What's going on guys and welcome back to Gran Turismo 6 and another top 10 video. Today I'm going to be looking at the top 10 fastest hot hatches in Gran Turismo 6. Starting off at number 10 is the Honda Civic Type R with a 1 minute 2.992. All these cars went around the Silverstone Stow circuit and um, there are a few rules where um, basically uh, like there couldn't be two Civics um, so really it's the fastest one out of that model of car that gets to go. So the Civic was fairly good, um, a simplified interior which is always a bit of a letdown. Um, I don't feel like I drive quite as well with the simplified interiors, it just feels a little bit unusual. However the Civic was quite good, um, you know you got smoke, you got uh, wheel spin, however that was kind of what I expected. In 9th place it was the Audi S3 with a 1 minute 2.959 very close to that uh, that Honda and this was quite a good car I was expecting this to do fairly well um, I suppose one of the more powerful of the cars there is actually another Audi on the list which is slightly more powerful than this one um, however I quite I quite like this um, it was a good handling car bits of um bits of understeer uh, this one I believe with Audi being four wheel drive however uh, for a four wheel drive a little hot hatch it actually cornered very well and um, also had some pretty good acceleration and speed about it. So um, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. The Audi A3 3.2 Quattro comes in at, in eighth place with a 1 minute 2.869. This is the other Audi on the list, slightly more powerful um, than the S3 and slightly higher PP. Um, yeah, I, I quite enjoyed this car. Um, it definitely you could feel comparing this to the Audi S3. I drove this one uh, first, then the Audi S3 straight after. Um, you could definitely feel that this car had a bit more power, a bit more kind of grunt to it and acceleration. Um, around the corners it was a little bit more understeery than the S3. I think the S3 was a slightly better handling car, however this one does go around the course quickest. In 7th place is the Renault Sport Megane RS with 1 minute 2.836. Um, I don't know how I feel about the Megane really. It's not one of my favourite looking cars, I think it's a rather unusual looking car, um, from the back especially. I just don't really like the shape of it and I think it's it's not the nicest car in the world. Um, it's not too bad with cornering and um, acceleration and stuff. I mean it manages to get into uh, into this position in 7th place so it doesn't do too bad. Um, however it's not really my sort of car. Um, I'd rather have other hot hatches. Uh, talking about other hat or hatch or yeah, other hot hatches that I really like the Volkswagen Golf VIR comes in six with a one minute two point six oh two. Um, the Golf is one of my favourite types of hot hatches. I just really like Golfs. Um, this one is no exception. The newest one, at least in this game, really nice car. Um, yeah, I I did quite enjoy this. The Scirocco. I was going to have the Scirocco R on this list. However, the game says that it's a coupe. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that is all true, um, I'd probably class it more as a hot hatch, but the game says it's a coupe, so I skipped it out. So the, that was the Golf, and I really did like that car. In 5th place, the Renault Sport Clio V6 with a 1 minute 2.375. The Renault Clio V6, um, yeah, I didn't like the McGann, just didn't like the look of it. This is kind of the opposite, I really do quite like the Clio V6, uh, it's a pretty cool car. Um, and yeah, rear wheel drive I believe, and it did get sliding around a little bit, one of the only um, rear wheel drive cars, I think there was two or three in the mix, um, but yeah, I, I quite like the Clio V6, it's kind of, it's a bit crazy, it looks kind of wacky, all around a pretty cool car, and it sounds pretty awesome as well with that V6 engine. In fourth place was the Peugeot 205 Turbo 16, with a 1 minute 2.310. Um, this is one of the older hot hatches you'll have on this list. I believe it's actually the oldest on this top 10 list. Um, not out of all the cars that I did, I don't think, but it is the oldest in this list, I believe. Um, and I quite like this car. It's quite lively. It's quite fun. I believe it's. I believe this might be rear wheel drive actually. Um, not 100 percent sure, but it is a possibility. But you know, it had good traction. It cornered really nicely. Nice acceleration. And yeah, it was it was a pretty awesome car, and it was something a little bit different to drive. In third place, the Alfa Romeo 147 GTA 
with the 1 minute 2.280. Um, I quite like the Alfa Romeo 147. I don't know what it is. Um, it's quite lively. It's a lot of fun to chuck around a track. Um, it's fairly good looking. Um, it's not the best looking hot hatch in the world. However, uh, I prefer it to quite a few such as the Megane and things like that. I think it's a pretty cool car. Like I said, it really does, uh, you really can chuck it around the track quite a lot. A um, bit of wheel spin and, um, and smoke coming out of that last corner, but it was a lot of fun to drive. In second place, the Ford Focus RS with a 58.970. We have a big, uh, big gap here from all of those one minute twos straight to a 58. Um, this car was pretty fast. There's a lot of focuses in this game. I mean, there's the two other RSs, oh no, the STs. Um, and you know, there's a couple of focuses in this game. This is apparently the fastest one, and I do quite like it. It has a simplified interior, which isn't great. However, it's very fast. Um, got very good handling. It's all around just a nice car to chuck around. And focuses are probably my favorite types of hot hatches. I just really like them. And in first place, was the Subaru Impreza WRX STI with a 58.109. Um, I was expecting this car to win. It's got quite a bit more PP to everything else. I think this had about 470, whereas the Focus, which had, I believe, the second highest PP, had about 440 or something. So it was quite a bit ahead of everyone else, um, and I was expecting it to win. Um, yeah, the Subaru Impreza, really awesome car. Handles well, has the speed. It's all around just a pretty nice car to drive, and um, yeah, maybe a slightly bigger hot hatch than some of the others, however, it's still a hot hatch nevertheless. Now we go on to the cars that didn't quite make it that I ran. We've got the Seat Ibiza Cupra, which did a 1 minute 3.338. Very nice car, um, quite underpowered, but has a hell of a lot of grip and is fun to chuck around the track. Next we have the Mini Cooper S with a 1 minute 4.173. Fairly similar story there, um, not the best handling though with that car. The Renault R5 Turbo is the next car down the list with a 1 minute 4.331. A very fun little car, however probably once again a bit underpowered. Then after that we have the Volvo C30R design, um, just not really the best car overall. It's just not particularly nice to drive and isn't the fastest. And then finally the Lancia Delta HF Integrale. Evolution, or whatever it's called, with a 1 minute 5.294. A long way down the order, I thought that would have done quite a bit better. Um, however, it didn't, it just didn't really have the speed. Um, it felt like a fairly nice car to drive, however, it was quite lacking with speed and maybe not the best thing around the corners. But um, yeah, I was expecting that to get maybe a little bit higher than last place. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.